MD, his C day here, 16 days out. Uh, we're gonna do shoulder today. So first, uh, hammer machine shoulder press. We do five, five reps, five reps, five reps. Each reps uh, at another 45. So total 20 reps. So eventually it's gonna have four plate each. One more. Well, how, how have I trained changed since I got here in America? Ten years ago, I started training with Miros Shaship. He was a famous uh, giant set. So I've been, I've been training with him uh, with Miros about two years, and uh, I, I did a lot of progress. You know, that's how I relearned. Really you know, training as a professional bodybuilder. You know, not only training, but also everything else, English, you know, the stuff, basic stuff, you know, Milos and his family taught me a lot. Then uh, I moved to uh, Venice, right here. Then I started training with Eric and Charles. And right now I train with Patrick. It's, you know, everybody's training style is different, but as long as you focus and uh, put your 100%, you work, you know. So uh, it's, everything is, of course, different than uh, I'm obviously getting older, so right now, the, the way Patrick does for us is, uh, I think it's the best for us. But you know, I don't say other training was wrong, I don't say that, it's everything is, everything works, that's why I'm here today. So, you know, that's how it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more, one more. Okay. The reason why I moved to, to Las Vegas is uh, my business. I, uh, I have, the, I have a, a smoothie and a supplement store, Body Cafe, with Iris Kyle in a City Athletic Club. Uh, you guys, you know, if you've been to Vegas for Olympia, probably you stop by that city and uh, our cafe, body cafe. That's the main reason, you know, if you have business, you have to be there. Uh, as long as training is, you know, we have uh, the city athletic club, it's really good. But, you know, it's only four hour drive, so I, I come here to Venice still, and uh, I will say like once a month and uh, see, you know, get some motivation. But city has uh, great equipment, so I like it there. You know, I like Venice too, so I kind of train both. Three, two, three, four, one more. Well, Iris and me, we have mutual friend Kathy LaFrancois. Actually, uh, when I came here first, you know, obviously I, I had no money, I had no, you know, sponsorship, so I. Uh, she had, uh, she and uh, Scott, uh, her husband has a huge house and I landed one room. Then it was a body in life and uh, I, I, loved, I loved it. And uh, you know, we have uh, the Irish uh, mutual friends, so we became friends and uh, now we, you know, run a body cafe in uh, Las Vegas. It's coincidence, but it's been great business and uh, everything was going very well. It was a body cafe in the city of City Club. Four, two, three, four, five. Do I train with Iris? Yes, I, uh, whenever I have a chance, I always train her. Because, you know, she's obviously 10 times Miss Olympia. And uh, she trains hard, and uh, she's actually very strong. Some of exercise, she does the same weight as me. I, I actually weigh way more than her, but my calves, leg stuff with almost the same weight and uh, you know that's motivated me a lot so we train well ice has been a big part of my uh, bodybuilding career since uh, 2000 
uh, 12. Actually, that year, I was, I was able to trail like uh, crazy. The first time in my life. Uh, before that, I was in good condition, but you know, never been really shredded, shredded. And uh, Iris is known for that. So that's, that's the reason why I asked for help, you know. Then uh, she, she actually made it happen. And uh, that year, Olympia, I think I thought I was the, the hardest guy on the stage and a lot of people agree with that, but I wasn't even top 10. I was like out of 15, so I was kind of disappointed. But next year I came back to Arnold Classic. Uh, then I actually I did broke my list three weeks out of the show. But I actually made top five. At that time I was doing open, so uh, which was actually uh, the, my highest in uh, you know open open class in my career. So you know overall, right now I train with uh, Patrick, but you know here and there she she gives me advice, of course, and uh, it helps a lot. Four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, I was third last year to 12 showdown. Was I happy? Yes, I was happy. Third place, you know, my highest in Olympia. And uh, as long as condition, I was very happy. I think one of the best condition I ever reached. But size-wise, I've been bigger, you know, before. So uh, this time, bring same condition or even better and a bigger size. That's the way. We, we plan and uh, it's going as planned until today, 16 six day, six day, days out. Then uh, you know, conditioning wise, I'm right there. So I just cruise in, I don't do anything crazy. Size wise, training wise, zero tapering down. You know, no more crazy intensity, just, you know, maintain stuff so you don't get injury. So, you know, overall, it's all, you know, we, as we plan, then uh, I think we're going to bring the best ever Fide on uh, Arnold Classic stage. I agree, flex is unbeatable. No, I don't. <laughs> of course, I'm challenging him. You know, anyone can beatable. Once Ronnie Coleman, everybody thought he was he was unbeatable, but Jay did it. Jay beat him, and uh, somebody else will do it. Or somebody else has to do it for the sports. Then uh, it will be me. What do I think about classic uh, physique division? I think it will be very interesting. You know, to me, to me, that's a kind of ideal uh, uh, the category compared to men's physique. To men's physique, you know, don't get me wrong, it's it's great class, great great athlete. I love I love them, but you know, with the pausing, it's, it's hard. You know, it's hard to appeal. But now. You know, classic physiques, they do pausing. You know, they have a, a weight class. Instead of that, that, I mean, a weight class, you have to below it. So uh, you don't see any, like a crazy, crazy, huge guy. You, got, you, you see the more pleasing, pleasing physique, more pausing. So I'll be very interesting and uh, I'm sure you'll be very big. Four. Five. Seven. 
Of course, I, I wear all the competitors, especially Jose, because you know he was a winner. Well, he he has a he he is known as his mass, you know, as his height. He's a monster, you know. He's uh, he's packed almost, uh, you know, limit. You know, he he cannot be bigger than that. But I, I I guess he can be bigger a little bit, you know, this time. And the conditioning, he has this that grainy conditioning, which you know, not many other guys has. But you know, he has some lag lagging body part. You know, I have uh, I think I have more round chest, I have more, you know, small waist, which is my uh, structure, but you know. Again, this apple and orange, you know, it's all come down to judges at the end of the day, so I just bring my best, you know, package, you know, I can think of, and uh, he's going to do the same. Then, uh, of course, other guys is going to do the same. I, I don't really just thinking about Jose, I'm thinking on the, about everybody I mean uh, like I say end of the day you have to bring your best package and uh, wait for judges that's the way it is unfortunately like I said, I moved to Vegas, so uh, I don't train with Charles anymore. But I've been training with Charles for about two years, and it was uh, such an experience, you know. He's a part of a legend, and uh, now many guys all over the world just come here to train with him, you know. So I was very fortunate to train with Charles almost every day for two years and I made a lot of improvement. So that, uh, you know, the, the made, made, made my basic then and now I train with Patrick, so it's even, you know, more effective. <coughs> well, fans and, you know, social media followers, they're a big part of my uh, competition career, you know. It's always, you know, I've been doing this 20 something years, but it's always really tough. You know, a couple weeks before show, I never really get used to it. You know, it's mentally, physically tough, but, you know, it's my job, so it's, I have to do it, but it makes, you know, things much easier if I get the, all the fans and the followers, you know, share cheering me up and uh, give me energy. So uh, I really appreciate all you, all you guys, you know, pushing me so much. And uh, without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. Come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Well, I think this only helps, you know, us athletes. You know, when I started, even like maybe uh, not even 10 years, this social media, couple, maybe five, six years, it's, it got so big. When I started, I mean, uh, when I came here and I start, started as my pro, you know, all, all we did was com compete. And uh, maybe a couple months after, magazine comes out. That's the way it was. But now we can do the same thing with life, you know, today. You know, we, we follow the, the guys you like and uh, you can know what he's doing today, what he's eating today, and uh, you can follow them and actually you can talk to them, the like, direct. So, which is, uh, you know, some negative, you know, we have something negative always, but, you know, most of the part is, I think, really positive and uh, it makes uh, our industry even bigger. Okay, uh, 16 days out. This is the, uh, tomorrow we're gonna do uh, some uh, last heavy legs. Then uh, pretty much after that, it's tapering down. Then uh, next week, I'm going back to Vegas and uh, Patrick 
Ruby in Vegas and uh, train with me. And, uh, you know, he's going to do last minute fine tune. Then uh, we'll be in Ohio Monday. So uh, we got five full days to prepare for the weighing. Weighing is going to be night before. Then I show it's going to be Friday. So everything is planned so far. And uh, it's going to be a great show. Okay, that's a lap, 16 days out. We did a shoulder SSD style made by Patrick Tor. So uh, I just want to thank, like I said, all the fans, all my Japanese supporters, all my Asian supporters, all my American fans from every, everywhere. Thank you very much. And of course, my sponsor, Despair Nutrition. It's been six years with them, Rich Despair and all the stuff. Without them, I wouldn't be here. And I gasp my clothing. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you in Ohio in 16 days. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. <laughs>